Hello, this is Genki Pro having a look at Gaia for save or quit. Gaia is a new science fiction survival crafting game. Uh, this is actually a pre release version, it's due for release on Steam in a couple of days on May 31st, 2019. Uh, it's a single developer has, uh, has made this over the last year or two, from what I can pick up from the forums on Steam and on the official site. Uh, you can see his name in the top right there. I'm uh, not going to try to pronounce that last name. I'm sure it's actually quite easy, but uh, I've pronounced names so poorly in the past I don't want to offend him by accident, so I apologise, developer. Anyway, let's have a look. So I've played uh, played half a dozen or so hours of this so far. Um, got a reasonably good feeling for, for how it plays. Uh, it seems to have some very heavy influences. Oh, I would have thought from RimWorld, which would be pretty obvious when we look at some of the options, but uh, but also Planet Nomads, the gameplay looks quite a lot like it. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, it'll be in early access very soon anyway. So we'll uh, have a quick look at options. There you go. Uh, I'm running on a GTX 1070 based laptop. It's a few years old now, um, but as you can see I've got everything turned up. Uh, yeah, pretty good, nice, nice uh, thematic sort of title music. Right, so we have a few options here, but uh, at the moment we can uh, just change all of these from three different settings. Uh, difficulty, and um, this is the a very heavy RimWorld influence with the AI storytellers. Um, you basically get three of them, same as RimWorld. And uh, they sort of have very similar descriptions, so uh, RimWorld's a great game. I, I, uh, I can understand why someone might want to base their game's uh, difficulty and procedural generation on it. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, I might actually have a look at this one. I haven't tried him before. Um, enter a save file name. Uh, I'm not sure we got it. Say or quit. Okay. Uh, topography. Um, oh, this confused me for ages, but the latest version actually has a little map so you can see what you're doing. <laughs> Looks like there are three preset land masses. I believe the whole game, uh, all of the resources are procedurally generated top of those land masses but I'm not completely sure. Um, I've always played this one anyway up to now and uh, and it looks different each time but it could just be that I'm spawning in a different place. There's no mini map truth in the game so it's sort of hard to tell. Uh, turn on tutorial and it comes with permadeath. Honestly um, it's so buggy at the moment that I wouldn't recommend that so I'm going to turn it off. Now, um, loading takes a long time, so uh, I'm just going to turn off my mic for a bit, I'll sit here and listen to some nice fancy music, and uh, I'll be back when it's ready. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I was hoping that music would uh, keep you occupied while it loads, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to ramble on a bit more so there's not some really uncomfortable science in a science silence in a video. Oh dear. Um, what can I say about it? I don't know. I can't think of anything now. I was expecting to talk over the game while I was playing it. Oh dear. So uh, it actually has a bit of background. You don't learn a whole lot of it when you start playing, but the, uh, the Kickstarter, uh, 
project. The official website and the Steam pages all talk a bit about the background. Uh, you play a woman whose name I can't remember, Amanda, I think, um, in search of of uh, the planet Gaia from which Earth was spawned, I believe. Um, I think something causes you to have some sort of crash landing on the planet, which is where we'll start in a minute. Um, whether this is, presumably this is the planet she was looking for, but, but then once you start playing through the tutorial, it talks about getting off the planet and building a ship, so it's all a bit confused. But anyway, it's sort of interesting. Um, oh, it's saving everything. Wow, it does take a long time, doesn't it? Um, the Kickstarter comments are actually quite interesting. The, the, uh, the campaign wasn't successful. But uh, the developer was very, um, very honest about a lot of things. Oh, here we go. I'll shut up for a bit. Systems failing. Systems failing. Bit of weight clipping there. Boom. That's me. Now, the first thing you'll notice is uh, some of the art's pretty poor. Um, I'm not sure if it's Emergency all. Emergency landing successful. <laughs> Survival That's guide. The second activated. thing you see. Name: Astral. Purpose. PDA assistant. Recommend salvaging emergency supplies from inside the pod. Placing down the main assembler ASAP is critical to your survival. Recommended position within 50 meters of the escape pod. That's interesting, I haven't seen that before. Uh, maybe it's something about where I've landed this time. I hope these things aren't going to kill me. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, I think there's a fair bit of programmer art. And uh, the Kickstarter, one of the, the uh, biggest goals of the Kickstarter was to raise enough money to actually hire some professional artists. And uh, the other things Wild you might notice are the sound effects and voices, obviously, Multiple just the text creatures to speak. on this planet display higher than average levels of intelligence. Recommend caution. So, alright, so there's the tutorial. Grab supplies from emergency container. Now the controls are a bit weird too, I mean every survival crafting game on Earth uses E, doesn't it? But no, for here we have to use uh, that mouse button and what's really annoying is that you can't change it. So you can change almost all the controls, but there's no way to change, interact or use. So that's pretty terrible, but uh, oh well. It's only access, you might add it, and yes, look, there's a poop button. So uh, it's fairly heavy on the survival elements. You can see there at the bottom left, there's uh, ten, a group of ten different uh, elements, and some of them are already dropping a lot, so they drop far too quickly. Uh, hunger's already down to 91, thirst is down to 85. Uh, they seem to drop about a percent a minute, or probably even faster than that, actually. Um, the others, hunger and thirst at least, you can start with some things to restore them, but some of the others you can't. Uh, you need to wait until you can build various things. So anyway, we'll grab uh, got a main assembler. That's what we want. We'll grab some water and some carrots. I've got one milk cow and she only eats carrots. Anyone who can tell me where that's from, I'd be very impressed. Alright, so tutorial step build the main assembler. So the build menu you bring up using B, um, sort of seems like there are some icons that are a bit hard um, to determine what they're actually like. They're okay, they could just be a bit bigger I guess. Um, and there are lots of building elements here, so well, most of them you need to build one of these assemblers for, and to build one of these assemblers most of them you need to build a main assembler. Uh, there you go. 
So we'll pop that near the door. I have no idea. Multiple that's a good hostile idea. life signs detected nearby, including the legendary weevil bugs. PDA glossary updated. This ground is building weird. defenses ASAP. Oh, oh, this spiky fruit. I haven't had that before. So you swap between your gun. For some reason, mouse wheel doesn't work for swapping between weapons. Yeah, the developers seem to use some really non-standard interface buttons and components, which are probably a bad choice. But uh, he can should be able to refine that fairly easily. Um, so. Uh, Project Nomads, I mean, that little mining tool thing looks a lot like Project Nomads, the whole zapping just reminded me a lot of it, but uh, I believe the ground mesh here is completely static, you can't dig it or do anything funky like you can in Project Nomads there. Okay, so we can't actually build anything yet. But our tutorial steps here if you can read the font how to hunt a nearby animal or monster, harvest a body, and consume some food. So, absolutely nothing to do with the assembly we just built. But hey, that's life, right? Atmospheric scan completed. Based on these readings, this planet gets <laughs> visited by spaceships quite frequently. There's the PDA that looks pretty terrible. friendly or hostile. So uh, lots of interesting modifiers. Sanity is sort of funny. Mine got down really low in my previous game. I was dropping stuff and seeing ghosts. Pretty cool. Um, there's a few tips. I haven't actually read through them all because at 1920 by 1080 they hurt my eyes with that font. Um, so maybe there are some things there I'm missing. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Alright, so let's go looking for a baddie so we can complete that tutorial step. No. So, there's no minimap. Oh, I just pressed M and rather than bringing up the minimap, it did a pretty cool hey? Um, You can always find your escape pod at least, so that's okay. There's some creatures. I don't want to get too close. In my last game I had wolves right nearby and uh, they almost killed me. I had like little piggies. Hey piggies, they sound like piggies too. Hello little piggy. Oh good, they're not going to attack me unless they attack me. What else is there around here? I don't like deer. There's a big mushroom, I haven't seen one of those before. I needed some, but uh, couldn't find any. Huh? Huh. It's not so hard, oh, it's, it's a live, sleepy mushroom. Look at him, he's scary. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. No. Can't harvest him. Well, that's a bit annoying. Well, guess I won't do that again. Oh, well. Oh, music. Music's not bad. I think the title music's the best. And the rest of it's okay. Maybe a little loud. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wolves again. I hate these guys. Oh, there's something else. They might be bar guests. Ah, ah, ah. Getting stuck on terrain really sucks. Well, so... I only have 11 ammo left, and... Uh, Actually finding more or making more is quite a chore. Okay, 
them and we need to craft a decoder which is like a research station. I'll just grab these while I'm here too. I know what's coming up and I know I'll need a few. Wish I could find the bubble bubble plant or whatever it's called because I'll need one of those too. Vicious little dudes. Go away, go away. There's no melee attack either, or at least I couldn't find one. So when you run out of. Oh, he's really chasing me. So when you run out of ammo, you're basically staffed. In the early game, anyway. Okay, thank you for left me alone. Green one's a grass appraise, whatever that is. I wonder if that's a real word. I should look it up. There's a bad guy behind those rocks. Leave me alone, dude. Need some copper too. Grimy, max sanity, that is fine. Okay. Cut all that. So, oh, I keep pressing E, I'm going to do that forever. Craft a decoder and build it. The uh, base module components look like some of the worst graphics in the game. Uh, they're okay, I mean, they do the job, they're just, uh, well, very simple placeholders, I would hope. Decode smelting? Well, so it's just research counts down, I believe you can probably speed it up with another decode. And build an energy assembler. So for that we need bloodstone. That's the one I was hoping to find. Oh, I'm thirsty again. And hungry. Can't cook our raw meat yet. But I think I will deposit some of these things here, otherwise my inventory is going to get stacks or even stacking those things. Uh, a bit of a shame, but uh, oh well. There's not really any reason why it should be so much difficult. So difficult to actually count all the stuff around it. This makes for a few games. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I have some carrot seeds here too. I can plant some things, but I don't know whether they actually grow reliably. Oh, I never got around to harvesting them. Again, use the build menu and crops, carrots. Boom. Boom. Okay, we'll see if they actually do anything this way. Okay. Bloodstone and bubble root. So purple root is a sort of uh, light blue cyan type colour. Blood root is uh, another one of these boulders, but it has little red veins in it. Oh, there's some. Oh, both. Oh. oh. <sighs> Terrible controls. There's 
my bloodstone. It's going that's nice. There's my bubble. Uh oh. It sounded like someone growling at me. I really hope it's not someone growling at me. Alright, I hope that was enough. Can't remember how many bubble which I needed. <laughs> Slightly janky animations. Mm. I'm having played Conan a lot. Do you know what I really miss? Being able to move the camera around. You can go into first person, but you can't get a view of yourself unless you sit down. There we go, but you can't zoom in or do anything. In. So that's um. Alison, no, Amanda, whatever her name is. Oh, I need to see what I need. Energy assembler, one bloodstone, four Christ surprise, five copper, eight bubble root. I think I have enough bubble root. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, so this is going to be like my last game. I'm just started in an unlucky area I'm going to end up wasting ages looking for a bubble ridge. And I'm almost out of ammo, of course. Solar system scan completed. Due to its relative young age, this sun suffers from periodic magnetic energy bursts causing massive solar flares and intense weather conditions. Can it? In addition, the planet has its own asteroid belt. Chance of meteors breaking orbit and entering the atmosphere. Hi. Hi. Hey, carrots. Not fully so hard to say. Bubble root. That's a lighter blue. Yeah. It's um it's stuck on the terrain a lot too, right? There's a chicken. What oh, the fuck? Any chickens? That's it too, isn't it? Sun's coming out. Ah, it's the other one. Must have just been tricked by distance. The lighting looks nice, the sun doesn't look so good itself. Hey, pretty cool, it's supposed to look directly at the sun anyway. Health tip from Denki Pro. Remember that, you'll live longer. Well, actually, you might, but at least maybe you won't go blind. Oh wow! Purple fungus. That's what I needed in my last game. It's the first time I've seen it. Resources unfortunately don't seem to respawn, which is a pretty poor design decision in my opinion for a survival crafting game. Um, it could be they do respawn eventually, but they certainly haven't, from what I've seen. Uh-oh. -uh. 
Okay, this will be enough. Let's go. <laughs> Chicken footsteps are really loud. Never noticed that before. Well, I'm excited to have use for that yet, so I'll leave it there since I'm not sure space is fairly scarce. We may be able to just leave things on the ground. I know you can drop them and pick them up again, but I don't know whether they disappear after a certain amount of time. I don't really want to risk it since the whole limited resource thing is a bit of a pain. Okay, put the mushies away. Magic, that's what we needed. Cool. Can't remember how much we needed now. We'll just grab a heap of stuff. I think we needed six Christ of Trials or whatever it's called, so that's going to be a good unfortunate one, I think. You just build straight from the inventory, from the uh, base inventory, and it makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Detecting an unspecified number of ground units forming a raid nearby. Oh, Estimated here we go. preparation time: three minutes. So, uh, I know from past experience that I simply can't survive that. Um, I don't have enough time to build the turret, which has enough defense, or an ammo, um, ammo assembler, and I only have 10 bullets left, so I oh, 9 bullets left just to shoot the bloody control. So now it's time to buy. So I think I shan't actually build that. It's unlikely to get it destroyed anyway, I suspect. It would make so much difference if you could do. Oh. 
this thing. If you could turn that light comes back. Oh, no, that didn't disappear. Here they come. I'm not entirely sure why those creatures want to come to attack me, but they go to be. Now I think there's no way to outrun them in this case. Killed one, but I'm out of ammo. Time to die. Okay, so that didn't happen last time. I managed to zap him away with my mining tool. Last time I tried that, it didn't do anything. So maybe that's supposed to be in the way okay. Wow. Okay. Maybe there was a bug that's been fixed since my previous playthrough. Oh, I've got to say, that makes me pretty happy. Again, I don't think you have to connect power up or anything using cables. Underground so scan completed. I can just Multiple chuck it anywhere, but I'll put it in the area. Right Chance of getting lost in these cave systems extremely high. So I'm supposed to build a forge and a mixture. I'm mixed. More crisis prize and copper. Oh, that needs the fungus. I might actually be able to build one this time. Okay. Recommend building a perimeter using defensive walls to minimize damage to critical structures. Now that's a very good idea, but getting to walls is pretty difficult. <laughs> we need to build another assembler. Find even more resources. I think it needs second tier resources too. Yeah. Not this track, it's good. Ventures almost full. A trade ship has just dropped out of FTL in the planet's orbit. They are a rogue merchant. Very poor grammar. Ah, oh, would have been nice to be able to see something. I haven't seen that before. I'm not ready to trade. I believe it's just a random appearance. Well, shoot open. Just that uh, energy management in the base is pretty terrible too. It's uh, in my last game at least it was going through and randomly disconnecting multiple 
units, even though it didn't need to, instead of just letting you turn one off. Um, you can come in here and look at energy status. So I have 400 storage producing 250. Oh, good, I'm only using 175. It's okay. The turret uses 250 by itself, though. Um, so once I build that, it'll be bad. So what is the mixturizer? Let us build a water bottle. Look at that. And of grow tubes. All right, cool. And the forge builds bars of stuff, and of course. Turret assembler. Ah, that's the one that needed second level. So I think I'll build this foundation thing next, actually, and ignore the guide. That looks turn away. Pretty hungry and thirsty. I have an empty bottle. Carrots are getting there. Oh, I wonder if I should be leaving them for longer. Probably. Yeah, looks like maybe it gets up to. Oh, no, I'm not sure. Hard to tell. It's a bit hard to decode what the interface is telling me sometimes. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe the resources are in the same place every day. 
as if they're not, it would be slightly more interesting, but if there's no good spawn in here, it doesn't actually matter. The decoder contains blueprints for the Tempest. If you ever want to escape this planet, building the Tempest is your best chance. So yeah, since the uh, game has match interact to the same button as shoot, you're always better off swapping to your mining tool when you're doing it. Alright, let's have a look. Boosts. Oh, I actually started dropping things. A bit of a freeze there, too. I believe it's all in beauty, so it's going to be wonky. Uh, let's have a little lie down and hell rest. Starvation imminent. Oh, cool. Recommend digesting something immediately. Dehydration imminent. Recommend seeking water immediately. the maximum amount. Oops. What does oops mean? Ah. Means she dropped something because she's a twit. Because her sanity is getting low. I can actually see the carrots now and then. Hygiene is now zero, but at least her bladder is full, so that's better. Sit down for a bit. And then we need to find 
Yep, you are. Gobble right, I think I was with that. Mushroom dude is cool. Excuse me for a moment, I'll just have a sip of tea. Decoding finished. Balance is a bit off at this stage, <laughs> um, but hey, I've been going a long time without a game breaking back yet. This is probably the longest I've managed to play, so that's pretty good. The last time I got a wonderful bar where I crafted a turret and it wouldn't shoot anything. Oh, it drove me nuts. Now I've built that, I suspect I need to put another generator. Come on, don't get stuck on the terrain.
adventure wall. something immediately. survive more than three days without water. Due to millennia of humans not having to just survive anymore, this number has dropped significantly to compensate for larger brain sizes. Recommend staying hydrated at all times.
Now I can get on the now. Just in time for that. Sorry, I don't know whether that's a good place to put it. Probably I should build a little platform for it. At the moment. Oh, generators <laughs> said they use biomass too, so you have to put uh, <laughs> some fruit and veg in there. I actually think I might keep that and swap it out with one of those spiky fruits that I can't eat. They have more biomass anyway. I should have done that to start with before I needed the power. Child, then I can eat the. Oh, they'll come out! Oh no, that, another bug. Now it's looking at a minigun. Oh wow. Yeah, it doesn't seem to know what I'm looking at. <laughs> so I've already... Alright, so I guess we can't interact with the generators without risk of breaking the game. That's my minigun. And he has limited on my guys, so I'm gonna have to make it in there. Oh, looks like the tutorial's finished. So we'll have to make an ammo assembly anyway. Four copper parts. Oh, we're already over the type of symbol uses so okay. So those batteries must be running pretty low, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the power doesn't seem to quite work, right? Sort of expecting everything to start flashing once that's finished building. Mm, the moon looks cool. I do like the sky. The trees look nice too.
time, oh my god. Decoding finished. So maybe that's the back of the panel too. I saw that before. What oh, am I? I haven't actually tried building anything yet, so I don't know what the building interface will be like. Basically. Mm, looks like it complains about. <laughs> there you go, little ghost running around. Complains about things without really telling you why, which is pretty annoying. Guessing it's too slopey.
I'd get another raid, I could show you the cool mm. again, tarot. This planet emits strange energy readings. This could indeed be the ancient's home. Recommend keeping an eye out for strange objects. But uh that's the base starting out anyway. I'm uh, feeling a bit better since I'm gonna actually kill someone with the mining laser, which means ammo isn't quite as critical. And uh resources are actually respawning now, and that's wonderful. Uh, I still think the starting balance is a bit off, but uh, it's got promise anyway. Now I'll just uh, run over here and see if anything's respawned again, just to be sure. Yeah, I think it has. Bit of a shame there's no map, it's possible you can build one later on I suppose. And I'm still not really sure what the goal is from looking at it. Uh, it looks as though it's probably building the ship and escaping, but I thought the whole plan was that she was here trying to find this planet, so who knows. Maybe it will all become clear if I blame them. Stop dropping things you silly woman. The sanity thing is getting a bit annoying since it's so hard actually starting out. But, uh, that's okay. It's sort of interesting, I suppose. So this has been a much more mellow game than some previous ones. I think I might just storyteller. It was supposed to be tranquil. So, there you have it. This is Gaia. Due to be released on May 31st. I am Genki Pro, or Sable Quill. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Takes a really long time. There we go.